back home to Paris last month I went to NYX and the only reason I went there guys was literally to get a uh, primer because everybody was telling everybody was telling me and recommending me to get that specific primer because I've been complaining about my primer forever and one of the primers that I used to use is actually in it in several of my videos it's wet and wild it just didn't work for me because my skin is dry and oily in some parts but it's mostly dry I got the hydro touch prime I got this primer because everybody recommended me to get it honestly so I hope this primer work I will let you guys know if it does and if it don't I'll also be honest with you guys and let you know so I've got other things and these are face masks guys I'm obsessed with face masks and right now if you watch my already with me for this look that I'm wearing you know that I'm having an eczema issue literally all over my skin but yeah I'm always on top of my game when it comes to my skin and face mask and some of them are from boots some of them are from other shops that i can't remember yeah there's cucumber tropical cocktail you know just uh chocolate orange and i think it was two for one pound of you can literally get it guys and it works you know okay so next i got these and they are lipsticks i always think i need lipstick if i go to a makeup place a makeup shop uh anything makeup I always buy lipstick because I always feel like I don't have enough. I have these and these are what did what are they called? Go buy and Lolita. You guys can see it. I don't know if you guys can see it. So I haven't opened any of them yet, but I've seen them in the shop. Let me just open one of them and see. And it looks like that. Night color, date color, dinner color. You know, me I'm into dinner and stuff. The next one, the Lolita is a bit duller to be honest, but it looks similar guys on camera, but it's actually not similar. You have these two that are lip gloss, I believe, called lip tees, and I got the color Dexter and Pleasure Sneaker. <laughs> these are funny names, so let's try it. I feel like I went like for reddish colors, you know, red range color and it wasn't even on purpose. Maybe I was going for a particular look. Let's look at the Pleasure Seeker. And it looks like... And last but not least, um, this is a glitter. And it's for eyeshadow. I don't want to open it because you guys know what's up with glitters. Um, yeah, when I want to use it, I'll let you know. I think I've seen it on somebody and I asked. Then they told me I went to go choose my own color. Oh, I didn't tell you guys the prices, but I'm sure all the prices are online. So I'll leave the link below so you guys can see it. And guys, last but not least, I got this makeup palette. Guys, I've been getting so many makeup palettes. Like, why am I buying makeup palettes from Monday to Sunday? Like, why? You know? But as I told you guys, I really want to experience more with my eyeshadow and try new things so yeah i got this makeup palette and it says swear by it it's actually the lady that um yeah, it came around the time i bought it and it's actually the lady that was helping me to find the primer that i was looking for because i couldn't find a picture that uh, she told me that this is what's nice so it looks like this and it has it has 40 colors these colors could be nice for winter and autumn i mean if because it goes from a little bit light to like warmer colors so i really like it there's a lot you can do with this i can't wait i haven't swatched them do you guys want me to swatch them Let, let's swatch them and see because i don't know how pigmented it is and you know me i'm done if it's not pigmented no matter how pretty the colors are excuse me let's swatch and see what we are dealing with so I'm going to swatch, you know yellow colors are like hard to, very visible guys and trust me, I'm on a dark side. Yeah. This is the right way but yeah, it's very visible, I like it, I love this color, you see, that rose gold. Beauty Bay was where I messed up, so I got a lot of stuff from Beauty Bay, sometimes I go on there just to see things, um, yeah, just to see things. <laughs> Um, I bought three stuff. So the lashes I have on all oh, the unicorn lashes and I also got it from Beauty Bay I told my I told myself let me try other things instead of you know with beauty lashes because I really actually like her lashes So um, from Beauty Bay my original reason for going on there was to get new highlights I feel like as a dark skin girl, it's also difficult to get right? so I remember going on YouTube and I watched somebody's tutorial I cannot 
remember who because I remember watching a lot of them and from everybody's advice from everybody's review some came up several times and some some didn't and some I just had to watch videos of youtubers that did tutorials with the highlights didn't talk about it but the highlight looked good on them because maybe we similar skin shade you know what I mean so yeah so let's start with the lashes so I got like three pairs of lashes wore one when I went on holiday and these ones that I have on today these are the unicorn lashes I think I got two of them and then I have this one called Clet lashes trifold thread I really like it I feel like it gives you that look this is my first time getting this specific one and uh, another palette like a bronzer du jouer I'm just gonna check what's inside okay <laughs> literally like look at the packaging Oof. there's medium to deep duo obviously sun kissed and sunset so um, that's really nice you can see my filming setup but these deserve a good look i love it but these are my new bronzers uh when i use it i'll let you know it do not look super dark but i actually like it i think it will go with my skin color i mean it's a bronzer not a contour i got this which is a brow clear gel i needed that guys I don't know if you notice in my videos but my brows tend to like fly flake I don't know how to say it but they move a lot they tend to like to move about it's a brow gel I needed one to need it and it can my brows in place you know when I need it to stay in place I also have this on now I threw the box away but it looked like the Bobbi Brown one and it's a Laura Mercier highlight guys um, and I think nighttime would do it more justice than daytime actually if you're dark I would say that for the Laura Mercier you need a lot of it because it doesn't just pop out quickly like that so you need to go layers before you start showing the way you want it to show if you're like me you like your highlight to pop and uh, the last highlight but not least i got the vibran highlight powder looks like this comes out like that just gonna show you everything guys i can't wait to try this he has that rose rose touch it, ma it basically make your skin glow it's not so much of a highlight that's the third line by the way that's why you can you see from my elbow to so it's not really supposed to highlight. I think it's it's more supposed to like give you a glow. That was the last thing. So you guys, I hope you enjoyed the haul. So these are little basic stuff that you might need or basic stuff that I buy, you know, on a regular. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please thumbs up. And if you have any suggestions, uh, comments down below. And anything you need and every detail you need be in my description bar below. Please comment, share, subscribe, like. I will see you guys next time in my next video. Mwah.